friends. So today I've decided I'm going to start a week in my life video. So I have done one of these a long time ago now, January 2019. I've done a couple of vloggy things over the years, but I wanted to do this one. I've set myself a limit of three minutes a day because these videos can become increasingly long. So I'm going to have to be like short and sweet each day which should make the video more enjoyable for you. If you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notifications bell. I'm really excited to share my week with you. One thing to note is that I am currently unemployed. I lost my job due to coronavirus and I got made redundant so that will be reflective in what you see throughout the week. I will be inside a lot clearly because of the pandemic but I'll also be doing lots of things. In half an hour I've actually got my first job interview since losing my job so obviously I'm not going to say too much about it other than it is for a digital marketing type role because that is what I've previously done most recently and the kind of career I want to get into so I've actually had to put on more formal clothes but it's through Zoom it's such a weird thing nowadays that we can actually do an interview through Zoom but that actually makes it a lot more relaxed which is lovely and then I got some other bits and pieces which I'm sure you'll see throughout the day. So I have come outside. The interview went well, we'll just have to see if I hear back from it. But now I am on a daily walk. I try to do daily walks, it's quite tricky, but at the moment I'm doing really, really well with it. And it's so autumnal. Autumnal, I can barely say that word. Absolutely love it at the moment. One thing I am looking for today is some autumn leaves. Now, obviously they're everywhere. I'm looking for the ones that aren't all gungy on the floor. And then I'm gonna try and dry them out properly because I tried to do this yesterday and let them dry naturally. They looked bad just because they went all crispy. So we're gonna just have a little search for them. And they're really nice to put around the home at this time of year. So what did I do this afternoon? I basically went on a little bit of a nostalgic trip. Me and John went through loads of old videos, um, which was really nice. We were looking for one specific because I've taken quite a few funny ones over the years of him, actually, when he's being quite sarcastic. So we were looking for some of those to send to my sister. And that pretty much ended up taking up my afternoon. <laughs> Easy to do. I am now about to do some crochet and I'm about 10 squares away from the end and tomorrow i'm getting my hair done similar to this i know a lot of you guys actually really like my hair like this it's staying similar and you'll see what it's like tomorrow this is the square i'm working on today i started it a couple of nights ago which is huge so that's one of today's colors So I'm up early-ish today, it's 9.50 or so, and that's because I got a hair appointment at 10, as you know. Um, I'm getting my hair sorted, yay! You can actually still see the purple and it's three months later. It's gonna stay similar, see it's gone quite brownie at the bottom now, but it's still a lot of a lighter starting point for my hairdresser than before, where it was a lot more like orangey, because yeah, it was in need of colour. Um, so I'm going to ask today because she does lots of different funky colours for maybe either a dusty pink or similar to this. It will just start out looking a lot darker and then we'll get lighter as kind of washing goes on. And then I use silver shampoo just to keep the colour in. And it, yeah, it's actually the most successful hair treatment I've had for a long time because last year we had a bit of a disaster and this year it's a lot better. just a casual day in my life 
did we expect this hair? No, we didn't. I'm over the moon. I've never had better hair in my entire life, guys. And I haven't even had a chance to update you on this daily vlog because I'm not over it yet. All afternoon I've been taking pictures, not because I'm vain, but because the hair is so good. And I've been trying to subtly take photos with my alchemy because this is the vibe. Let me get back home and I'll explain things properly. But this was like something I did not expect to happen today. As we discussed in the car, I was just going to ask for a bit more pink and look what happened. This is the best thing ever. We're back in the natural habitat. I did spend quite a bit of time taking pictures outside as you saw because the lighting in here just wasn't doing it justice and my house can be a bit cluttered. Yeah, I kind of went in and I said what I wanted, which is what I told you guys this morning. She had a bit of a creative outburst. My hairdresser and was like, let's do this, let's do that. And she asked me to choose three colours. And these were the three colours I chose. She said that turquoise and pink went really well together. So I ended up choosing turquoise and pink. I already had purple before and really liked it. But this time it's just so much more vibrant. And my hair's never taken to colour like you expect. So like last time... I maybe expected the purple to be a bit brighter and then it turned out that it was a bit darker and I was also told it wouldn't stick to brown hair so I thought that this time it would be similar just because I still had lots of brown in my hair from where it grows through but we bleached it um, and it ended up just being really easily lifted because I've been using lots of silver shampoo which is fantastic so it hadn't gone yellowy and then this happened I didn't expect it though because as she was putting it on it looked really vibrant but I just I never get my hopes up with hair after last year's disaster of it going green and not the colour I intended I didn't expect this one to go like I intended. <laughs> What has happened this, what day of the week is it? Friday. I forget what day of the week it is at the moment, understandably. I woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror and I forgot my hair was this colour, which was quite amusing. So that was fun. Um, I haven't filmed anything this morning because it consisted of me staying in bed, playing some Animal Crossing because I had a headache. Um, then having a fried breakfast, which was delicious, and going to Morrison's, the shop, to get some food. And I'm now got a few kind of things to do, not much, but I'm going to phone my grandma and I am going to then do some crochet, which has been on my list of things I've wanted to do for three days. And even when unemployed, I seem to have a fun to do list and I haven't got around to it. So that's my focus for this afternoon and then probably I'll do something else this evening. So I'm trying to think if there's anything interesting in my day for you guys to see today. Probably nothing in particular. Um, so I totally forgot to record yesterday. Um, I didn't really do very much though, hence why I didn't record it. I did do some crochet in the afternoon and then what else did I do? I just played on my game with some friends and things. So yeah, I didn't have anything really to tell you. I also did go for a walk. My belly's rumbling. I don't know if you can hear it. It's really funny. Um, so I thought I would do a little catch up today on what I've managed. I am officially now seven squares away from the end of this blanket. Yesterday, I did this square, this square, and I watched the Pixar story on Disney Plus and it was really good. Um, this square was this square was on Saturday. This morning so far, I went quickly into town and I got some orange flavour hot chocolate. I mean, that is the most autumnal thing I've ever seen. It was something I saw on Facebook really late last night and I really wanted it and it was the last one in the shop. So later I'm going to have that and I bought some marshmallows. I'm really obsessed with like the seasons now and I think it's almost become a trend like people pref people like to put out decorations for Halloween like decorate their house for autumn for winter obviously for Christmas I don't think people do it as much in spring and summer 
but it's still kind of a thing and now I've kind of jumped on this bandwagon and I feel like it's a vibe and when I have a house in future it's gonna be more of a vibe. As was pointed out to me, if I buy loads of decorations for different seasons, then where do I put them? Because it's hard enough to find a place for Christmas decorations, let alone Halloween decorations, leaf decorations. But we find a way, we'll find a way. Every day it appears that we're just doing a little catch up in the lounge. So today's catch up is that it's Monday and obviously it's not a normal Monday because I'm at home. I'm going to be prepping for my interview but this afternoon I'm going to be, and this doesn't sound exciting but it's still an update nonetheless, washing my hair for the first time since it was coloured. Now some of you might be like, oh my god, that was days ago. This is a week in the life. It's nearly like a week later and you haven't washed it yet. My hair can go quite a long time without being washed. Four days is about the maximum. Usually do it around three. Um, I managed to kind of eke this out to four. I use dry shampoo. And honestly, it doesn't really look greasy. It's, it doesn't feel greasy. It's absolutely fine. But I know I need to get it washed today. The reason I have been putting it off it's because I don't want the colour to fade, guys. It's gonna fade, I know it is. And whilst I don't expect it to be any different because it's extremely vibrant right now, it's going to. So I've been putting it off, but I've got swimming on Wednesday and I feel like I need to at least test the water here, see how it reacts to being washed. And I expect it will just look a little bit duller after. Sad times. And it will look like I put a lush bath bomb in my bath. I'm totally having a bath. During this time, I've, well, coronavirus this whole entire year, I have had loads of baths. So I'm gonna have a bath right now. And I'm really, really excited about that factor. <laughs> So my interview got moved to today, so I just had that. It went really well, but obviously we don't know what's gonna happen, so we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm happy with what happened. I will update you. But today, I'm in the kitchen because I'm doing a bit of quick cooking. Now on Saturday, I had a cooked breakfast or Sunday. And do you know those ads you get on Facebook and they're basically like quick recipes you can make that look really amazing and really delicious, but you never normally have the stuff to make them? Well, today I actually have the stuff to make one of those things and I've seen this one before and it looks so nice. But yeah, it's just a coincidence that I can actually make it. So I'm gonna make, I don't know what it's called. It's basically like a cooked breakfast in a cake tin. Sounds weird. So you put in, in like hash browns and then you cook them for a while. And then after that, I better put them in the oven actually. Um, you then add, very distracted. On top of that, bacon. If you've got sausage, sausage, but I don't have that. Um, baked beans, and then you crack an egg over the top. How good does this sound already? And then you add cheese. And I'm beyond excited because I've got all of the right stuff. Even enough beans to do it. I mean, I could do potentially with a few more beans, but that works. You need to find the eggs. This is gonna be delightful. So now I've actually, this is something I do anyway before videos. I'll kind of set up my camera because it is just my phone and talk to it 
quickly just to check I'm in frame and everything for the video. So you might have guessed I am filming a proper, proper video. That PR box I showed you the other day, that's what I'm unboxing in this video. So I thought it would be a good time to do that. Also, on another note, you may wonder why I didn't show you the breakfast cups. They actually tasted lovely and just what I expected, but looked not lovely. Well, they didn't look horrible, but they basically, as with a lot of these Facebook videos, they show you how to make them, but they got them out of the tin really easily. I tried to get them out of the tin and a bit stuck, so they ended up looking a bit more like little mountains of random breakfast items, which was nice to eat. They weren't as appetising to look at, so therefore didn't want to show. Now it's time to film the video. I'm excited to see what's in this box. I know one of the items, because I did peek, I have. But that's okay, that's fine. By the time this vlog goes up, you will have seen that video. And yeah, I'm gonna get going. In other news, the light's bad today, so it probably does look like my hair has faded a bit, but it actually hasn't, uh, or barely noticeably. It did really, really well when I washed it. So it did really, really well when I washed it. Let's see if you can see it properly. I don't know why my camera seems a bit weird today. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the same. So I'm very, very happy with that. Just needed to update you because I made a big deal of it yesterday. I just filmed the dark arts video with the PR stuff. And then I remembered that nobody had seen my hair yet, even though I've been recording this video this week, which threw me off. And I was like, wait, so they're gonna see the dark arts stuff before they actually see my explanation in this video, which is a bit confusing. Um, so I quickly covered that off. And now I said in this video, you're gonna see why my hair changed color. So what is going on at the moment? So I meant to update you today anyway, and I forgot when I went swimming. So I went swimming, I did the craft that you saw featured this morning. Anyway, why am I out now? Because John wants some cake. I also want some cake and it doesn't take much to persuade me. So I'm going to get milk because that is what we actually need. And then I'm also going to get cake. I have a shop right around the corner, which is good. But yeah, that's why I'm out. And I was in my pyjamas, literally sat down with my blanket again. But the cake temptation was too strong. And even though I'm still wearing my pyjama top, I put tracksuit bottoms on and I've come out with my wet swimming hair. Crazy swimming hair. So that's what is happening tonight. So I'm going to finish the vlog where I started it, which was in the lounge which I've been quite a lot of the time, although most of the time I'm actually in the spare room, but I choose to film in this room uh, just because it's quiet and better to do videos. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my week in the life. I need to update you on the last kind of day. So today I've literally spent all day doing crochet because I am four squares away from the end. Then I've got to border the remaining squares and then I've got to border the whole thing. I'm finally near the end. It's such an achievement getting this done. And other than that, what happened? Oh yeah, yesterday I heard back from my job, uh, the one I did an interview for a few days ago, and I've got a kind of induction type second interview next week. So hopefully by the time this video actually comes out, that will have been successful. I will update on my Instagram slash YouTube for the end of that story, just so you understand what's gone on. Um, so that's really good. It's been a successful week. I've got a lot done. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I like doing week in the life. So easy for me to film because I just do a few minutes a day and they're fun for you to kind of see what I get up to in real life. And when I watch YouTubers, I actually really enjoy finding out about that stuff. 
yeah thank you for joining me i hope to see you guys again soon i will have some more of my creative content out next and of course we creep closer to christmas which means i will try and do some festive stuff who knows i haven't thought that far ahead as to what i would on my channel but i'm sure it'll be fun so stick around and i'll see you guys very very soon bye Thank you.